Hey, what's going on, guys? Body beat down here. Friday morning, just off the bus, got my walk going on. It's the routine, it's the plan, you know how it goes. Want to touch on a subject uh, as far as what to expect when you work out and uh, eat right and all that. We're not all going to be the rip chiseled, uh, abbed out, flat stomached people that you see on magazine covers and contest shows and movies and TV and all that. That's not reality, guys. Fact of the matter is, it's hard to be perfect. Uh, it takes a lot of dedication. It takes money. <laughs> it takes effort. It takes uh, sometimes using special gear. Uh, it takes it takes a lot and not everybody has the same structure the same DNA the same makeup you know not everybody's able to have the super fantastic body you know that we all kind of uh, would like to have and uh, you know and we we like to beat ourselves down sometimes uh, whenever we look in the mirror and we don't see what we're wanting to see well, fact is you can be better than you were yesterday, you know? You just gotta put in some time and effort and uh, some dedication. You know, I work out six days a week and I do cardio seven days a week and I eat uh, good nutrition and uh, healthy six and a half days a week uh, you know my uh, cheat day is saturday but i don't just you know eat cheap foods on that day i also eat healthy so that's why i get uh, six and a half days of healthy food that's why i say that uh, you know we all have our ideas and our ideal physiques on men and women. Of course, we all think a prime Jessica Biel is sexy and perfect and Megan Fox and, you know, countless other celebrity movie stars and TV stars that we see and fitness stars and all these different people. Of course, we think they're absolutely gorgeous. And the same thing with dudes. We see uh, guys that, you know, we think are you know, for females or guys, whichever, you know, I don't mind saying the guy looks good. Uh, we see guys that look good, built good, and you're like, God darn, you know, I wish I looked like that. And, you know, we see people like that all the time, too. And, uh, you know, it's hard to put yourself in their category because they're on a different level. And a lot of times, you know, they're doing this for a living. So, you know they're gonna they're gonna have a different level of dedication even though we seem like we're dedicated they have a different level of dedication and extremes that they have to go to to get those bodies so they're not realistic you know I'm not saying that you have to have a, a beer gut and I'm not saying women have to have saddlebags and all that kind of stuff or whatever the equivalent is to a woman uh, you know, I guess they can have beer bellies too. You know, dad bods, mom bods, whatever you want to call them. You know, we don't have to look, you know, completely gross. We just have to try, put in a little effort, you know. Uh, what's funny is... And I've mentioned it before, I've been accused of being on something, whether it's just testosterone or something else that they were accusing me of. And I'm like, I work out six days a week, do cardio seven days a week, eat clean six and a half days a week. And if this is what I'm getting, being on gear, then man, I'm screwed, <laughs> you know? Typically, when you're on something like that, when you're on testosterone or some sort of steroids, HGH, all that kind of stuff, typically you're going to have low body fat. 
you're gonna have a nice thin skin uh, you're gonna have some especially when you work out as much as I do you're gonna have a lot better muscle definition uh, and build your strength is also gonna go up significantly I'm not doing anything crazy as far as weight goes it might be crazy compared to some people because some people out there don't put in the effort and other people that look at it and think uh, you know my lifts are amazing are couch potatoes so you can't really look at you know how these people are looking at things because they're not putting in the effort so, of course, anyone that lifts anything over a potato chip bag and a soda is going to be uh, strong, and they're going to be on something. But typically, when you're on something, you don't look like me. Typically. That don't mean there aren't cases, but, you know, you got people... Uh, you have people that are on some sort of testosterone or steroidal type thing... Uh, from, from golf players to cyclists to track and field to professional wrestlers to Olympic wrestlers. Uh, you know, you have people on that stuff that you wouldn't even think, like the cyclists and golfers and all that. Uh, so, you don't have to have a giant physique and an amazing physique. Uh, anyone can be on that stuff. The tennis players, everybody, most people that compete are, are probably on something. And definitely bodybuilders and stuff like that, anyone that's competing in that's definitely on something. You got to be to keep up because you don't naturally build that kind of muscle. You don't naturally, uh, you don't naturally cut that much weight and keep that much muscle and strength so you have to be on something so where's this all going where's this long discussion going well just basically basically it was just thinking about you know what our expectations are with things and uh, our own physiques and beating ourselves down and uh you know, reality versus, you know, not reality. We have to keep things in perspective. And just do the best you can. Trying it all is better than not trying it all, right? Maybe one day I'll look like a prime Arnold Schwarzenegger or something like that one day you know and I look at myself in the mirror and I think man if I just didn't have that little bit of gut down there I'd look pretty solid but I'm always gonna have that little gut I'm too hard to lose weight me losing weight is the equivalent of a I don't know it's the equivalent of something ectomorph is that what they're called when they can't gain weight I don't remember. They got names. It's as, it's as difficult for them to put on weight it, and muscle as it is for me to lose fat. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Some of you out there are in the same boat. Anyway, it's a good Friday. Beautiful day. Hopefully this weekend is going to be a good weekend. That's some, uh, that's some serious poop. I'm glad that that's in the road. Anyway, guys, have a good day. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. <sighs> Extended walk and talk today. Ten minutes. How about that? Get up, get out, get rad. Do it we'll see you next time on the body beat down where we just continuously beat the body down beat it down baby